I'm Steve for This Up With Cars, and today I'm back with my 2023 Land Rover Defender. In my previous upgrade video, we concentrated on the inside of the vehicle. Because no matter how you use your Land Rover Defender, you are going to want your inside to work for you and be protected. Today we're going to focus on the outside of the vehicle, and I am primarily going to be using this Defender for doing some off-roading, so these upgrades are going to be particular for that. The very first thing that I did with this vehicle, and I did this on like day one or two of owning this, was get rid of these Goodyear Wrangler tires in 255-65R19. And Goodyear calls these all-terrain adventure tires. And swap these out for a set of Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax in 255, 65, 19. So the tires are the same size, but we have the addition of these lugs on the side. I think this tire might have also been slightly taller. And for now, since I am keeping these 19 inch wheels, there's not a huge selection of tires available. So this was what I chose to go with for now. The next thing I've done is install these rocker guards from Lucky 8 Off-Road. And this was a must for me before doing any serious off-roading with this vehicle. I do not want to smash up my rockers or my door on obstacles or rocks. And installing these is quite a process. Lucky 8 has a good video and I will post that so you can click it up here. You can install this using simple tools, but you will need a riv nut gun. I did not have a metric riv nut gun, so I had to go and buy one to finish the installation of this. And after you've installed these rocker guards, you are left with a pile that looks like this of things that are not going to be going back on the vehicle. You could cut up some of this fiber under tray and put that back on, but really there's no reason to have that. And without that, it gives you good access to work on things if you get in trouble off-road. If we take a look at these things, these things are heavy. You have a really nice heavy bar right here, and then the steel comes down and it extends quite a ways underneath the vehicle. In fact, let's measure this. So we get about a good foot of armoring on the side underneath the corner of the vehicle. These get bolted on by bolts that come up from the bottom. And then there's this piece of trim metal that bolts on here. You will have to drill these holes slightly larger for the riv nuts that you need to install to hold this on. And one thing that I'm disappointed in, so if you look back here, you can see the white from the Land Rover here. I don't know why they didn't just extend this piece further back so that it covers all of this up. The filler piece does a good job the entire length, even up here in the front, looks good. I did have to make a little cut on the mud flaps to fit those on. This, they do not have mud flaps on the vehicle that Lucky 8 does in their video. But overall, I am very happy with these rocker guards. I think these add a huge amount of protection to the side of the vehicle. This also now gives us a chance to look underneath the vehicle and see things that we could not see before. Basically from here forward was covered in that fiberboard and you couldn't see any of this. Probably the biggest thing with this install that I don't know what to do is you have this heat shield hanging out right here. This I'm sure will get smashed up on obstacles and rocks. Right now I'm thinking I'll just let it get smashed and then deal with it later. But I might end up pulling that completely out it doesn't really need to protect anything from getting hot because it doesn't have that weird fibrous material near it anymore. These blue wires up here are the 48 volt electrical wires that run back to the hybrid battery. They are tucked up there pretty well, but you do not want to get these snagged on anything. So unless someone starts to make one, I may have to produce a skid plate that goes here and just protects this little area from getting hit with anything. We do have good view of the front drive shaft now. That's something that we couldn't really see before. If I were to break the drive shaft or the joints, at least now I can get under the vehicle and see what went wrong. The center skid plate that you have to take off during the installation does fit back on. And upgrading a few of the skid plates is something that I have planned in the future. But this video is covering the minimum things that I wanted to do to this vehicle before I took it off-road. Here in the back, I did leave these rubber flaps in place for now. Those will probably end up coming off. 
now that everything is getting exposed and you can actually see it, this vehicle does start to look more simple than it did before. The next thing I want to install are these headlight guards. These I also got from Lucky 8, and these are the same ones that come straight from Land Rover on the Trek Edition Defenders. I've seen other versions of these that do not screw into the headlight bezel and just use Velcro, but is that really adding any protection? It seems like a branch could grab them and just rip them off. Now, if a branch did grab this one, might do more damage as it pulls the screws out, but I think this is going to be good protection because in the environments that I am going to see, I'm going to be seeing a lot of wooded trails and less open desert type environments. Installing this is pretty easy. I just measure two inches up and then mark my holes. I'm going to do this one hole at a time. And then I use a 1 8 inch drill bit Drill through where I marked. And then I can install the screw. Then I can mark the other side. You do want to be careful not to drill too far. Once these are installed, these are actually pretty sturdy. And that's going to be it for today. Those are my must have items before taking the Defender out to the trails. Of course, this is the trophy edition, so it does have tow hooks. It has a winch, uh, a couple of other things that maybe you might want to do to a bone stock Land Rover before you take it out. But now that I have all of these things installed, hopefully the next time you see this Defender, it will be out on the trails. If you want to see videos like that, comment below and click subscribe.